everyone welcome to another video so I thought I'd make this video today on an email I received now before we start I want to sort of preemptively state that this isn't an anti-muslim video I think practicing religion is fine I think having a belief in God is fine as long as those beliefs don't infringe on human rights or animal rights uh, as long as you're not hurting no one I think you know it's fine to have your own belief system and believe in God and believe in an afterlife I think there are many good points about religion. I also think uh, people sometimes use religion to justify horrific things um, in the name of God. Now, I do think religious principles should be questioned, especially in the modern times. But we're going to focus specifically on halal slaughter. Now, I got this email from someone and it says, I want to introduce you to the orthodox method of Islamic halal slaughter. Now, because today the demand is so high, the method and rules are neglected. This has forced me to either slaughter my own meat or simply turn to veganism. I believe after you watch these three separate 15 minute videos, you will understand the spirituality and wisdom behind the Islamic method of slaughter. And I hope you can stop spreading misinformation by informing others that it is important to distinguish commercial RSPCA approved halal slaughter slaughter to traditional orthodox islamic slaughter okay so rspca don't even approve halal slaughter not that i've seen anywhere well in the uk they definitely don't uh they think animals should be stunned before slaughter now i think animals shouldn't be slaughtered at all they shouldn't be raised for food at all now this isn't a competition to say which is worse i think they're both bad sometimes stunning doesn't work um but I've also been in a uh, halal slaughterhouse in Bali and I got criticised by many Muslims saying this isn't how it's supposed to be done. Well, I'll tell you what, um, when you get footage from these halal um, slaughterhouses, they're not even doing it in the way that you know, you guys all say it's supposed to be done. They're not facing the animals to Mecca. They might be saying a prayer, but the animals are being slaughtered in front of each other. There's been so many exposés of these halal slaughterhouses, and they're horrific. Just animals having their throats slashed open, no stunning, so they're suffering for 10 minutes, you know, shaking as they're dying. With stunning, they're stunned in the head, they're cut across the throat, and then they, they're pretty much, a lot of the time, they're unconscious when they're um, bleeding out. But... You know, I think they're both horrifically cruel. Um, I think uh, cutting someone's throat open without stunning them might be even crueler. Uh, they suffer for longer. They have a big cut across their neck. But yeah, RSPCA don't approve halal slaughter. So I don't know what you're talking about there. There are halal slaughter guidelines. Uh, there's a few requirements they have to meet. But then when you expose these places, they are absolute hellhole horror stories. If you cannot prove that your meat was slaughtered to the halal standard, you should just be vegan. And anyway, like, I'll explain why you should be vegan, even if that is the case, because the video is coming up. He says, uh, you'll be shocked to see in these videos, no resistance at all by the animals. Sam simply can hold two grown sheep with two fingers, one on each side, proving that these animals, when following the Islamic method by consent, are ready to be willingly slaughtered. The animals have no fear, they're in good health and treatment, and they understand and are willing to be sacrificed. Now, I'm going to take... I'm going to take some issue with his claims here. No fear, and they understand and are willing to be sacrificed. Good health and treatment. I mean, good health and treatment. Prove it, mate. Get a vet down. They look like they're in good health, these animals. As you'll see in these videos, they look like they're in fine health. But they understand and are willing to be sacrificed. How the hell do you come to that conclusion? Now, let's watch this video. Today, I'm going to share with you a video, an amazing video of two parts about the authentic Islamic slaughter, not using stun guns or hammers or any other equipments, electrical equipments, only using, simply only using God's name upon slaughter. So basically, you're not using any equipment, no bolt guns or anything like that, just God's name. And you forgot the big sharp knife. So the sharp knife and God's name. And he also created lambs and goats as a blessing for humans for the purpose of food and clothing. So God created lambs and goats for the blessing of humans for food and clothing. Well, then I don't understand why God would make them to feel pain, suffer, want to live. Um, you know, I just don't understand why he would design animals that are only here for food and clothing uh, to have a brain, to perceive pain, fear. Uh, they have a desire for life. If you try to kill them, they don't want to be killed if they know they're going to be killed, which I'll get into later. It just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, why didn't he just design them like plants with no brain and no wants or desires, no subjective experience? Uh, the scriptures also preaches about a humane tra treatment of animals. And as a humans, we only have the right to slaughter them in God's name. So as long as it's in God's name, you can slaughter whatever animal you want uh, for whatever reason you want. 
okay? And humane treatment. It doesn't seem humane to me to cut an animal's head off. Um, humane treatment would, like, imply just looking after them. I don't know. What's, where does the knife in the throat come into this? These animals are bilingual. And they all know God's name when it's mentioned, no matter what language. So he's making a very out there claim that these animals know when God's name is mentioned without any evidence or any proof at all. And they always feel the heart of the slaughterer if he believes in that word or he doesn't. Once the belief is there, the faith is there, and the word is mentioned, it's guaranteed a fiqh and a guaranteed submission. La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar. So if the animals hear those words, apparently they submit uh, you know, to God and they're willingly slaughtered. Um, He's making very strong claims here, like he knows what the animals are thinking and feeling. What we're going to do, we're going to take the, uh, the mamas, we're going to bring him over here, and we're going to make him submit uh, on the ground over here. Bismillah. 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 So he's throwing the animal on the side. Now I just want to tell you, I'm not going to show any of the slaughter. Um, you'll get the idea. Um, we'll we'll censor the slaughter part out, so don't worry. You can watch this through if you want to see what what we're talking about here. Um, and you're a bit, you know, because it's horrible to watch. And funny, like God makes slaughter horrible to watch for us humans, but also animals are here for us to eat. It's weird. Like I have to give you a a warning, like a trigger warning and censor it out. But if it was like God's word and God's wish, why did he make us feel sick when animals get their throat cut? I just don't understand that logic at all. So basically he flips them over on their side. Let's keep going. And now he's, uh, now he's covering their eyes. Covering their eyes. This is total submission. Total submission, he claims. This guy is ready for anything to be done to him. And he's not nervous, he's not resisting. He's in total relaxation. No panic hormones whatsoever. Little relaxation, no panic hormones whatsoever. So he's making these very strong claims that just because an animal's submitting like that when their eyes are closed and there's this guy dominating them on top of them, that there's no panic hormones and they're submitting to be slaughtered. Like, how do you jump to a conclusion like that? I just don't understand. When animals are in fear, sometimes they become frozen. I don't know if you've ever been so terrified that you become frozen with fear, but this can happen to animals. Sometimes it's a deer in the headlights. Sometimes when they're getting hunted down by like a lion, they might freeze. Sometimes chickens can play dead if they're terrified. So here we have uh, this study on fear in sheep. And so here it says, although there is wide individual variation in fear reactions in sheep based on personality, as a prey species, fear in sheep is typically expressed by behaviours such as highly focused visual and auditory vigilance, immobilisation, a frozen posture, fleeing attempts to escape, and defecation. So this immobilisation, this frozen with fear, could just be a fear response. I mean, but he's just jumping to these conclusions that it's the, the animals have been created by God and they're just submitting to the knife. Um, we'll go on to show exactly why this is nonsense uh, later on when he actually slaughters the animals, but let's continue. See, I let him go, he gets up. <laughs> I let him go and he runs away. Okay, if he's submitting to slaughter, why doesn't he just stay there and wait for the knife? But watch this, if these animals are willingly submitting to God, why do they act like this? No, you need to show to a skeptical person. Bismillah. Allah. Allah. It's okay, baby, it's okay, I'm not doing anything <laughs> yet. Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. <laughs> It's okay, baby. I mean, look at this. Does this look like they're willfully submitting to God? Same reaction. They all react the same. The power of the word. They're more religious than most humans. Um, I think when the animals can't see, they just become terrified because they can't see or perceive what's around them. And you're a big guy. And, you know, you feed them, you look after them, and they're just submitting to you because they're either scared or you're just dominant to them. And, you know, you, when you take someone's vision away like that, especially a little animal, they don't know what's going on. I mean, if you did this to a child and you covered their eyes and they just laid there scared of you, and would you say, oh, they're submitting to be slaughtered? I mean, it's just insane. It's just insane. You take a little puppy dog, you cover their eyes, you put them down, on their, you hold them down on their back, you know, and they submit. Are they sub submitting to slaughter to God? I mean, it's just, it's just insane to jump to these conclusions. Here he's got one there, holding down by the face, and he's grabbing another one. Whisper in God's word. 
Look at their legs. See? As if they're not just terrified. Look, here's one here. Here's one terrified. Gets laid on their back. Watch this. So now he's got three, right? And this is his claim, they're submitting themselves to God. Look at this one here, though. Look at the one in the front of him. Look, moving, shaking, shaking, terrified, they're scared. Like in his claim in his email, the animals have no fear and they understand and are willing to be sacrificed. Jumping to massive conclusions there, really are. This is just absolute nonsense. Look at this, two of them, two of them, two of them to pull this animal down. But now he's got one finger on this sheep's head like, okay, the, the sheep is obviously submitting to getting their throat slashed open. He's totally answering the calling. <laughs> and he's happy with it. He's so happy with it, he's answering the calling. No, this sheep was just pulled down by two guys, all right, on their back where they can't escape. What's this sheep supposed to do? And you're holding them down and they can't see. Scared, they're, they're scared, they're terrified. No! Like, if his claim was true... Look at this. I mean, if his claim was 100% true that these goats and sheep are put here by God and they submit uh, once they hear the word of Allah, why doesn't that hold true with all of them? I mean, some animals are more submissive than others. Some have a greater level of trust. Some get scared uh, more so than other animals. Some struggle more. They all have different personalities. As you can see, this one here isn't submitting to God. As you notice, some of them, they'd be a little resistant to submit than the other. And it depends on a lot of factors. How wild he is, how much human contact that he had. So how wild he is and how much human contact they have uh, determine how much they are willing to submit. Yeah, if you can train an animal to submit itself, you can train these animals. I mean, they're not as intelligent as a human being is. You can outsmart them and train them and they're, they're, they're just submissive because they're vulnerable. They are vulnerable animals. But eventually, if you're sincere with a prayer and you're not distracted by anything except glorifying God. So he's putting it all down to the prayer. If you're sincere with a prayer, that's when they submit. No, these are just submissive animals. Or frozen with fear. And he is really enjoying it. One finger. He can easily get up if he wants to. But he's answering the call and he's happy. He just puts it down to their relaxing, submitting to God. This is just insanity. Let him go. That's my finger. And he doesn't even want to move. I mean, we can go on. There's another. There's one more here. Total submission, total submission here. Animal's ready. And he's happy. And he's happy to go. He's happy to go? This is delusional. This here is delusional. You have to have faith and you have to use the words. And you have to rely and know that the creator is going to subdue this animal at this time. It's not even me. It's not even him. So you're saying that God is subduing this animal, not not the fear that's been put in the animal. Not the fact that the animal is completely defenseless. They the animal cannot do nothing against you two fully grown adults. And you always jump into these conclusions that God wants his creation to have their throat slashed open when you can easily eat plants. You know, that God did not create with a brain and a functioning nervous system and to feel pain and suffer and want to live and try to escape pain with any of these survival mechanisms that mammals and animals have. <laughs> if you want to go, you can go. <laughs> and the animal runs off there while they laugh. Human beings, when they're going to be shot or tortured or about to be raped, sometimes are frozen with fear. This happens with children. This happens with all animals. That rush of adrenaline can completely freeze you in your tracks. Okay, guys, so I want you to stay for the slaughter part here because I want you to see how this guy contradicts himself and how delusional he's being.